Hello YouTube, this is my water filter separator. I got it Harbor Freight. It had several types. I decided on this. I like how it's made. That's the same as a valve core on your tire to let the air out. We have only used it once. Uh, what we're doing is we're running our line off the air compressor over here, hooking in here, and we'll run another. You'll see the black hose over here, which is going to my air tank. Okay. Now, really good uh, review I read on Harbor Freight, you look through the reviews, is to put this at the end of your hose. Don't have it close to where the air compressor is hot. Give it time for the moisture coming through the hose to condense back to water, and I think that'll be the trick. Cause we do not want to get moisture in our little air tank over there. You know, our air tank project, that white tank with the regulator. We want the driest air we can get in there because we may buy a small uh, airbrush or something to use that tank for so we got a lot cleaner air. But I will try to get a close up of this. Uh, that's got a little rust in there. Plus there's some oil, I noticed. We're going to pause. And when I come back, I'll have this fired up with the hose hooked here coming from the air compressor, pushing it over to the air tank, reserve tank. Uh, I'm going to try not to let pressure go backwards in here. So what I'll do is the tank is empty, so I'll have it hooked up. I'll clip this on and we'll be filling the tank before I start filming. So uh, it might be noisy. That air compressor is very noisy and I'm in the shop here. Uh, otherwise, I'd probably do this outside. That little thing, it's not that flapper type. It does have a piston in it. It does use oil, but it is just about as noisy as one of them uh, airless or oilless, they call it. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, I know I might have showed it quite a bit there. I don't know how long I was letting it do it, but you notice I pulled the hose off. I had a lot of water coming into this filter. I think it's because I'm pushing against that tank so much that it's not flowing as like if you had the blow gun. Out here, it's been so humid. You use the blow gun, you can almost wash something off. You get that much water out of that. And that's only a two gallon tank on that little thing. That's a little bit of air compressor. I had a video on it years ago, but uh, the battery's getting low. I have pictures of the package and stuff of this. Uh, maybe somebody can tell me. Let's zoom back out. Somebody can tell me why I got that much moisture when I had that big rush of air. When I was going up against the tank, I you could just see little droplets form before I really let it loose. I think it's just because it's pushing against something. Uh, the tank has been drier. I mean, the first couple times I filled that tank, I didn't like it. I had moisture coming out of it. Uh, the past two or three times using the tank, using this filter, very little moisture comes out of it. Uh, very little. You could probably add one of the little cheapy filters before the spray gun, the disposal ones, and get rid of that last little bit. So, uh, starting to kind of condense back to droplets, bigger droplets now. So, thanks for watching. And... Give me your opinion of what you think of why it done that when I really get it rushing through there. So, thanks again. Hope it ain't too long a video. Uh, so, I'm going to post it today on a Saturday. If, uh, I know it's the holiday weekend, but uh, 
just a good Saturday video to post. So, we're gone. We're out of here. Enough of this.